This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.com. Um, 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 um. So as Bitcoin passes through what I guess would be its third major market correction, there are much better people than me for you to get your analysis from. But there is one observation that I am kind of in a unique position to provide. Maybe it's just anecdotal, but back in the day, uh, you know, like the, of the first correction when it went from, I guess, around $45 down to around 20 I had already been advertising Bitcoin for maybe six months. And this correction triggered a flurry of angry activity on my YouTube channel. Uh, all kinds of comments saying all kinds of bad things about Bitcoin. That was really fair weather season for the cryptocurrency. But then, of course, there was later on a, uh, another boom and a, a, another correction. And uh, I didn't really see that kind of response. And then when we had this third boom and the third correction, maybe spike is a better word than boom. Uh, again, there was really no sense that I got you know, from my viewers that they were upset about Bitcoin. They weren't talking it down anymore. What you did see, of course, during that time was a swarm of, uh, I told you so, dollar warriors who thought it was just such a, tra such a travesty that Bitcoin was only up by a factor of about 30 over the last three years, whereas their almighty dollar is only down by a factor of about, about 30 since it came, to an ex uh, came into existence as a fiat currency. Uh, but the difference here is that the the, uh, the critics were mainstream press people and Federal Reserve type people as opposed to uh, my viewers, you know, the Liberty community, that kind of thing. So what I think may have happened over these last couple of years is a consolidation of opinion uh, in the Liberty community has sort of united around Bitcoin where it was once divided about Bitcoin. Uh, and now the division is within society at large, where you see uh, elements of society supportive and elements opposed. Anyway, I think the least unlikely thing to happen now is probably there would be a third... I mean, <laughs> this isn't what will happen, but it's the least unlikely thing in my mind. You'll see a fourth uh, Bitcoin spike, but probably... Well, I don't know. There might be a fifth, but I'm predicting there would just... I'm just looking at... the the likelihood that there would be an average of one more before things stabilize or correct. And for me, I think of a good sell point as being uh, around $1,800 per Bitcoin around October of 2014. That's just based on the history of how long it's taken other uh, spikes to occur, how frequent they've been, how much they've been. The peak probably would be more than 1800 based on the historical precedent, but I just think 1800 is a good safe sell point unless the spike is delayed more than I expect it to be. And I don't know that there will ever really be a fifth peak because by that time I wouldn't be surprised if a fifth spike, I should say. By that time I, I would not be surprised if there is another crypto that has come along and started to really suck the wind out of Bitcoin sales. I mean, there's got to be something that is, is going to be done that's going to be better at Bitcoin than Bitcoin is. Either that or it makes, uh, you know, it becomes an alternate investment that uh, steals some of Bitcoin's thunder. Not saying it will happen, it just seems to be the most likely thing, but not immediately likely. Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet chock full of privacy and security features, two-factor authentication, a second password for sending coins. They never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.